Welcome to this video. In this example, you are going to learn how to perform an optimization study in which the input variables are entered and the output responses are calculated in a Microsoft Excel spreadsheet. The objective is to find the cross-sectional dimensions of tapering I-beam and its three sections that minimize the total cross-sectional area while meeting the margin of safety requirements for buckling, crippling, and combined bending and shear under 10 lower cases. The spreadsheet used here contains a page with the initial design and separate pages for crippling, buckling, and combined bending and shear calculations. The first step is to create a matrix input, so let's open your uh, Excel file and review the information and locate the columns that contain input variables and output responses. Now let's open HyperStudy and start a new study. Locate your working directory where your Excel file is located and open it. Under directory, you're going to drag and drop the, your Excel file, and now, as you can see in the solver execution script, it's now a spreadsheet. We're going to click input variables, and the Excel file is going to open. We're going to proceed to select the inputs. So we're going to select our inputs, and once you are done with one, you're going to click OK and continue selecting the other ones that you want. Once you are done selecting your inputs, instead of clicking OK, you are going to click Cancel and the pop-up message is going to ask you to select your outputs. And you are going to do the same thing. Once you are completely done, you are going to click Cancel and a pop-up message is going to ask you to save a copy in each run directory. With version 2022.2 or higher, the user has the possibility to save a copy of the Excel file in the run folder. This can be very useful in the case where the Excel file is used as a link resource to another model in a workflow with HyperStudy. So we're going to click Yes and the Excel is going to close. Now let's go to test models and we're going to run the finition. Now we're going to add an optimization and for the finition from we're going to select our setup and let's go to define output responses and we're going to apply an objective on the area ACE output response. So we're going to add a goal which is going to be to minimize the area ACE. Now we're going to add nine constraints. And in apply on, we are going to select our outputs two through nine. and the value is going to be 0 0.2. Now we're going to go to the specifications step, and we're going to select sequential quadratic programming, which is a gradient-based iterative optimization method and in HyperStudy, it has been further developed to suit engineering problems. Now we are going to click Apply, and in Evaluate, we're going to evaluate the task. Now we can go to our iteration plot to monitor the progress of the optimization iteration and we're going to select our constraint 9 to 10. Let's click the multiplot button to split the goals in separate plots. 
And we can also enable bounds to see how far or close you are from the constraint limit. Now we can go to iteration history and the green background means we have found an optimal design and the orange font means at least one constraint is never violated. We can also see this one in the evaluation data and we can review all the constraints if they are acceptable or feasible. Um, finally, I want to show you how I said in version 2022.2 or higher, you can save a copy of the Excel file in the run folder. So here it is. Thank you for watching this video.